Honorable Red Justice Agnes Mulgo, representing the Chief Justice, uh, the Acting Chief Justice, Mr. Chao Sumkuri, the PA State Department for Youth, Professor Rudeki Chwea, the Director General Kenya School of Government, Honorable Justice uh, Kapurima, the Director uh, Judiciary Training Institute, Mr. Joshua Tanga, the chairperson of Sabika Trust, distinguished ladies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Uh, my name is Dennis Mutahi, and I've been sent here to represent the CS uh, Ministry of Public Service and Gender, who would have wished to be with us this morning, but due to other engagements, she was not able to be with us this morning. Um, I will go directly into reading her remarks that she prepared to deliver to this, uh, to, to you on these auspicious occasions. And I'll start. I'm delighted to be here today to witness the opening of the induction of interns under the Governance Internship Program by Hesabika Trust and the Judiciary Training Institute, and to witness also the signing of a memorandum of understanding that will underpin the partnership and cooperation between the government agencies and Hesabika Trust. This partnership is encouraging and gives hope uh, as it, that is, as it is geared towards catalyzing the value-driven transformation in Kenya through integrity of actors in public service. Let me, from the onset, appreciate the Sabika Trust team for recognizing that we can utilize the well-mentored, talented, and inspired value-driven youth to create a platform for social and economic transformation of Kenya with increased effectiveness in public service and for better development outcomes. I commend you for the partnership you have established with the judiciary, with the Kenya School of Government, and with the State Department for Youth Affairs. These partnerships or this partnership will strengthen your footing and bring you closer to achieving the vision of a transformed, of a transformation of values in Kenya. Ladies and gentlemen, the goals and objectives of this effort uh, we are launching this morning interfaces well with the ongoing efforts by the government of Kenya to improve the Kenya's public service. As you are all aware, uh, His Excellency, the President of Kenya, Honorable Uhuru Kenyatta, is leading and championing the fight against corruption in order to ensure that public resources and, ut and institutions are effectively utilized. In addition to empowering the multi-agency efforts that respond to the challenges that we are facing, His Excellency the President also launched the Honest Public Service Campaign, dubbed Huruma Harisi, on 5th of December 2018. The aims of this campaign is to celebrate, recognize, loud, and make visible public servants who offer honest public service with commitment and selflessness and who personify national values while placing citizens at the forefront of their day-to-day -day duties. Ladies and gentlemen, one of the strategic priorities of the Hesabika Trust is to uphold the positive values and advocate for integrity in leadership and support the government in doing the same. Similarly, a key objective of the government internship program is to mentor, resource, and release the next generation of value-driven readers who have a calling into public service and governance. Values in our society are fundamental as they define our character, our identity, and our aspirations. Values determine our beliefs and practices. They determine what we perceive to be right or wrong. In many respects, our society has associated the younger generation with the negative values in our country. This perception has been associated with negative values including socio, uh, negative social behavior, radicalization and terrorism, crime, drug abuse, and alcoholism, among others. However, this view, while accurate, to some extent is only half of the story. Society has started to overlook the many youths who are doing their part to influence positive change. 
from their respective stations in life. Those who commit to higher ideals exhibit strong character, courage, and commitment. We need to appreciate the strengths of the youth as a key resource for national development. As they are more adaptable to change, new ideas, and new ways of thinking. We are therefore greatly encouraged by this initiative because it recognizes the youth as agents of positive change and aspires to place them at the center of value transformation agenda in the public service. This initiative with goals to equip the young in terms with knowledge, skills, and exposure, they need to raise our public service to a new level and a higher moral cloud is therefore a step in the right direction. Ladies and gentlemen, in 2010, the Kenya Youth Factbook disclosed that 33 percent of the youth at that time aspired, at that time aspired to riches. Six years later, in 2016, a study by the Akan Foundation showed a dramatic shift in values where half of the youth believed it doesn't matter how one makes money, as long as one is not caught. Money and wealth had become prime values. These value shifts cannot be ignored. Value erosion impacts society as it increases the cost of doing business, worsens inequalities and jeopardizes our capacity to achieve sustainable development goals and the vision 2030 within the set timelines. Subsequently, in the Kenya Youth Development Policy, the government has committed to nurture a value-driven, morally applied, ethical, and transforma transformative generation through strengthening the family unit as the basic unit of socialization and value transfer. Deepening intergenerational and intragenerational dialogues, mentorship and values transfer to the youth and utilizing ICT and social media space to further entrench the values and the morals of the youth. In the meantime, the government will continue to invest in efforts that advance chapter six on integrity of our, uh, chapter six on integrity, chapter six of our constitution on integrity, including promoting values among the younger generation through training at such institutions as National Youth Service, where we are currently, where we are currently training over 20,000 youths annually in order to enhance and inculcate national values and principles of good governance so that we can achieve the generational shift on values and shifts and, and, and shift in attitudes. Ladies and gentlemen, all indications are that where Kenyan youth are repeatedly exposed to positive values by those whom they trust the most, the goal of the country's transformation will be realized. I therefore urge all the stakeholders here, including the judiciary, to continue setting a good example and modeling the values we wish to see practiced by the future generations. As I conclude my remarks, I want to assure you that my office and the ministry as a whole will continue to support this and other similar initiatives that are geared to inculcating the right values and characters in our youth. This is a sure way of guaranteeing the development of our country and the future is in safe hands. I encourage you to forge ahead and to grow this program from strength to strength with an assurance that the value system you are nurturing is desirable for the country. Let me once again congratulate those involved in advancing this initiative, the partner organizations, individuals who contributed to the convening of today's session, and more importantly, congratulate the 20 interns who have already gone through the first part of the induction at the Kenya School of Government for this, uh, for this important endeavor and for this important step. Thank you, and may God bless you all.